Hello there and welcome back to the channel and the start of our new Sunday series. Now, with us finishing the excavation of Hobbs Barrow last week, absolutely cracking game. If you've missed that one, I'll link the playlist up on the screen right up here. With us finishing that last week, I felt it was time to dive back into the Monkey Island series with Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Now, we are playing the special edition version. However, I am going to, much like the first one, put it into the classic graphic style. Not that I don't like the updated one. I just prefer the look of the old style. It should be fun. It should be fun. However, unlike the first one, where you, if you're in the original graphic style, the voiceover or the new voiceover work that they did for the special edition was gone completely. You couldn't have voices on the old graphic style. However, this time it was a big bit of a gripe for mine off the last one, I will freely admit. However, I discovered when I was setting this one up that there is an actual option to have the voiceover work from the special edition still play while you're playing the original graphic style which saves me from doing the voices i know you love us doing voices i love i know you love us doing the voices of characters and it is quite funny at times it is very tiring though <laughs> and i always mess up and forget who's who's who and who's talking so plan is we're gonna have it in the old graphic style with the voices hopefully that is a good a good balance between the old and the new so without further ado let's just dive straight in and find ourselves some booty enjoy guys enjoy well 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 guy brush threepwood well well you well indeed strangest places uh Hi, Elaine. Uh, Hi. Do you think you can help me out? How did you get into this mess? It, it's kind of a long story. It feels oh, okay. it feels a little bit strange. I've got time. Uh, well, it all, it all started, started on Scab on Island. Boom, Some of my admiring boom, fans had pressured boom, me into telling my boom. little chunk evaporating story Flashback once time. again. <laughs> Even the music's like freaking great in this game. Oh, hello, monkeys. Monkeys! I like monkeys. What exactly are you doing? Hey, you guys get out of here. Yes, shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. Get out. Get out. Ron Gilbert, man. I'm glad he came back. Did he? I'm going to refrain from saying it because I don't actually know whether he... I'm assuming he did came, come back from for the new one. I might be entirely wrong on that. We'll do apologize. If I am wrong, I do apologize. Such a classic. Classics, I love them. Can I just have a look? Deep oh. in the Caribbean. Scab Island. Sorry. Scab Island. So I put on Millie. The church Millie say, Island. Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy. I can't yeah, that's, take it that's not what happened. I think I know. That's not what happened. Must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story <laughs> one more time, I'm going to be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. He's I'm on here looking adventure. for the big pirate, pirate treasure. No, pirate bigger booty. than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure. So many of people all. can't grow treasures so beards these days. And so well hidden Unreal. that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean Big Whoop? None yes, other. Big Whoop. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. Alright, so we're going I'll for another ship. Galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. True. No doubt he's going to come back. With a title like LeChuck's Revenge... 
<laughs> He's bound to come back. Good story, even if they paid fifty bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. If I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. True. Are we good? Part one: the Largo Embargo. I don't remember this at all. Loading screen. Strange. Oh, no digging. Can I? Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. All right. Can I pick up? Fine. Oops. I think I broke the sign. Okay, that's strange. I'm going to hope that this voice is coming over on the thing because it's not coming through my headphones. Where do you think you're going? Oh, there it is. Fancy pants. Hello. You ain't from these parts, are you? This no. is a toll bridge. You got to pay. Um, is this some sort of bribe situation? Sure, take my money. I don't want any trouble. Who's going to make me shorty? I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a, I'm a pirate. pirate. Tough guy, huh? Yes. Oh. Help! Police! <laughs> Ain't no police Scream here. As loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Largo? Are you Largo? Then who keeps the law and maintains order? Then who eats the donuts and rusts up the transients? Please, not my new coat. Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you. Not my new Please, coat. Not my new coat. Maybe I should cut you one out of cement. That'll hey, be quite a feat. You're it. This is my lucky night. Am I being robbed right now? Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from, from Lago or Lago La Grande. All right. Captain Jack Sparrow. That's you can't hide from Captain Tough Jack Sparrow. Town. I guess I should have got those travelers checks. True. At least he didn't take my shovel. Uh, right, so let's find the bar. I don't think that's the bar. That looks like an outhouse. Oh, that's a woodwork. Carpenter? Hi. Talk to... Ro <clears throat> talk to Hi. Yeah. Can, I, yeah, can I speak to you? Uh, what's the problem with that Largo guy? Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? Disrespectful. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? A wood could chuck cook? Could you? I almost had it there. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? A woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> the answer is seven and a half tons. That was a guess. That's a guess. <laughs> yeah, just like the browse tanks. Uh, what's the problem with what's the Largo the guy? Problem with that Largo guy. He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, he does, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. What's that one? Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. That would be kind of that would be kind of good. Uh, how much, how much wood? wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck I'm not even going to entertain it. Amount wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. We're just going to go. We're just going to go with it. We're just going to go oh, with it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, look, uh, nice apron. Nice sort of chef. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Thank you. Uh, we got anything here? Workbench, stool, peg leg. Lots of peg legs. Um, can we take? Can I take some nails? Uh, pick up nails. Oh no, you don't. I need all of them. All right. Okay, we're gonna come back. I'll see you later. We're looking for the bar. What's this say? The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Ooh, a bar and a grill. Let's go. 
Let's go to the bar. Hello? Hi. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? <coughs> um, want to see my scar? Nice place to have, well, see you. Uh, house, house business. business. It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, oh, really? I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing can imagine that, that coming really in handy. do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo, a voodoo doll, doll of Largo Legrand. Le you there? Uh -oh. I get the feeling we're going to be making it. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Oh, lovely. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. Oh, lovely. What Love a lovely chap. Nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> so, would be a bit fishy. You gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. All right, so I get the feeling. Hey, hired help only. Okay, sorry. Uh, we we will. Was that an advertisement? Hey, no, I wouldn't click on that. It reads JoJo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Who? It's a metronome. Can I pick it up? No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Ah, see, I never had piano lessons, so I don't really know. Bit of a tick, tick, tick. All right. Let's just let that kick off. I do get the feeling we're going to be making a voodoo doll of Legrand. Uh, what's in here? Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Hi. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Um, I don't quite know. Um, uh, I'm Guybrush, the three puddler chuck busting stud. I'm Guybrush. How are you? Excuse me. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Excuse me. Do you me know well. anything about Big Whoop? Uh oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. Well, you are. Nobody sent me. I'm. I'm sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. Don't shoot. I was just asking. Did you have a gun? Nobody, Nobody sent, sent me. me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Okay. Uh, can, can I, I see, see your files? files? Actually, there's not anything in them. I haven't really been All able right. to find out much hard information. Okay. What so do you know found, about? Found nothing about it. Uh, I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. I know it contains unimaginable wealth. I know its location is a mystery. I know its location is a mystery. That's you a fair mean point. You've you never know. heard of the four men who buried it? Uh, no. No. Tell, tell, tell me about, about it. it. Well, tell all me. anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine Lane. went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Okay. Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was. Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Inky Island? I've never heard of Inky Island. Why don't you believe it? Why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or yes. so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. Ah, that's quite a story. Uh, where are, where they, are now? they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library. If it ah. weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it how could just How does Largo have legend, any power? But how does it have any power in this situation? If I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognise the shape of the land and track it down myself. Well... Bully, that's good for me. My hey, what's your name? Gabrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At Wally. your service. All right, Wally B. Feed. I thought that was going to be a pun name, but I don't think it is. Uh, 
Have some questions about Scab I have Island. Some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Uh, actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Uh, actually, I'm trying right. to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With the sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere, which doesn't help my business. Let me tell you. True. If you you know if you're selling maps and you know people want to actually use the maps to get somewhere. Uh, do you know anything about this Largo guy? Okay, you know tell me about, about Largo. Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, who gives tell him, me about it. Who gives him power, though? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A All right. for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this Roughnecks island is and rebels. that bully Largo. So I'm looking for some room and I still wonder who, well, how he has I power on this island. Like, he's a small little grot. Why hasn't someone just like keelhauled him or the shoved him into the swamp? But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right, thanks. thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. I know you're after the maps. Let's go check out some more of this island. Uh, what's this? Hey! Hello, rat. Can I talk? What's in this box? Nice. Uh, can I take the box? Put it in my pocket. Um, open box. Oh, can we catch the rat? Do you reckon that's what we've got to do? Walk, talk to men of low moral fiber. Pirates. Wake up! Wake up! What is it? Hi. Long time no see. Long oh wait, no those see. guys from the first game. All right. We know you. Um. You tried to sell me the minutes of the PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was I'm a map. Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, <laughs> claiming it was a map. Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you really, wake us really. up, Gorbush? Is that, that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. Rats don't actually like cheese that much, to be fair. They like it, they'll eat it. Not everyone, not all rats are created, the, you know, are created equal. Uh, what are you going to do doing doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right, performing. Performing, that's performing what? That's what we what? do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Quite possibly. Uh, so why aren't you still doing the why aren't you still restaurant? Doing the governor of the island made us an offer we uh, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't refuse. So get we sold him the business. Is it a get out here or I'll kill you kind of deal? Yeah. Yeah. We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips and search for a place. It's a kind of cool, island cool thing. Out. Spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there? Drinky Aside from island. The obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big, Big Whoop. I'm looking for that too. Whoop. I'm looking for that too. <clears throat> Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom. So we just well, that's kind of an issue. That's there. a little bit of an By issue. The time we noticed we were taking on water fast. We ended up pretty damn fast, I would imagine. Desert island. Uh, when do we get to the performing part? How much longer is this story? Uh, when do we get right. to the performing part? Yes, we met we a philosopher that. on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. Mm-hmm. That you're a pack of loonies? That you should bore passengers by with tears to a long stories? What? What is it? What did he say? What? Tell me already. That you're a pack of loonies? A pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. 
So Fair they became performance artists. People, people see that all the time. They portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. See what now? How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Uh, yeah, so I think you're talking about right, right. something sitting on. Uh, I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the earth. Sounds like a crock and monkey snot to me. Oh, I see. Oh, All right. Oh, I, I, see. I see. I see. You do? Oh, good. Yes. Uh, what happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. Oh, you didn't have a parrot leg in the first the one. Leg. Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, okay. this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give, Give me the me money for the, for the polish. polish. Okay. Oh, thank you. See you See later. later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Yes, of course. Yeah, you go back to sleep, dudes. And I have some money for the... I lo Excuse me. I lost the money for the thing. Can you give us some more? I lost it. I dropped it. Hi, air laundry guy. Um, right. What do you know about Largo Legrand? Largo Legrand. I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean. Okay, that's not what I asked, but thank you for the information. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. <laughs> you know. I should actually try that with someone. That would be funny to say, say to someone. I'd like to pick up, some, like clothes. To pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No. I must dropped it in my grog and I must have melted. No, I don't have my claim ticket. I lost it while being keelhauled. Mom threw it out when she claimed my room. I dropped it in my grog and it... I, I dropped, dropped it in grog. my grog and it melted. Melted. Log welted it. Well, now that is a good excuse, but I can't give you okay. your clothes without a claim ticket. All right. Oops. I thought I, thought I, I wanted to talk, talk to you, you, but I don't. But I don't. <laughs> okay. So that's everywhere here. Is book actually need to go to this ship? Can we get on the island proper though? Is that all the way to the right? Do you reckon? Uh, oh, an alligator. Hello. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, baby alligator is quite cute. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want one as a pet. Can I, can I steal it? I could lose a finger doing that. Fair, fair point. Can I pick up rope? And it's securely fastened. I mean, you could untie it. Never mind. Let's talk to the innkeeper. Do you have Excuse any me. information? I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Okay. Um, mm. Can I go to the guest room? Only one guest. Yes, Largo. but that dang Largo eats like 30. Okay, can I... Push the bell just to annoy you? I can't move it. Use the bell? Be with you in a second. Okay. Uh, can I maybe just sneak into Hold his it right room? There. That's a private room. No going up there. Yes. Uh, right. So I think we need to make a voodoo doll. Sorry, I completely forgot. I completely forgot what it was called there. I was going to say something parasite or something like that. Right. So we need to find maybe a way onto the island. And we need to find a recipe for... Actually, hold on. Can I... Actually, buy a wood polish. Hi. <clears throat> yeah? I like Can some I wood buy polish. some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd no, like to that's look around a Sure thing. Thank you. Alright, so let's go. Let's go all the way to the right. Let's see if we can get on the island. Because we are going for... There we go, walk to path. 
Welcome to Scab Island. So, just come out of Wood Tick Beach. We're being already swamp. Check out the swamp. Well, this place isn't creepy at all. Can we take a... Oh, we are overdue. Okay, we're rowing. Yes, let's use a coffin to row into the creepy swamp. I was going to say, if anywhere, you know, if we need a voodoo lady in order to do a voodoo doll, why not? Well, you know, of course we find a weird voodoo lady in a swamp. I can't remember seeing her. Uh, right. Hello Guy again. Threepwood. It's been a long time since you last came to see. It me. has indeed. It has indeed. Tell me about the Zlagoga. Just want to see her. how's business. How's business? Very good. We we'll remember many her. We we'll, we'll remember her. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many the evil eye. Of Although Largo took most of them. Uh, tell, tell me about, about the Largo guy. guy. Tell, tell us about him. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid I'm of him because that's, he was it's once allowed to happen. right hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history. I got rid of him myself. True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will <laughs> see. Ask you, that's very true. That is very true. Uh, why don't you just put a curse on Largo? Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My okay. most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make, we make one, can doll, we make one together? I some items from Largo's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Brave enough or stupid enough? Because if you want stupid enough, that's us. That's us. What, what ingredients? What ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe. Maybe. It Depends. Work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. Okay. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Oh, something for of thread, thread, something of clothes, the head, something head, of the body, body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece okay. of Lago's clothing. Clothing. I'm gonna get that from the. Head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And I know where I get the fluid. Relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, it's a graveyard on the, the island. List. Oh, thanks for the shot on this. Thank thanks. you. Now go. All right. Um. Okay. So I know where I'm gonna get the clothes. I need to find a claim ticket for it though, or something along those lines. I think I know where to get the bodily fluid because that's gonna be the easiest one to get because it's in the bar. Because he spat on the wall, didn't he? I don't know if I need something to. So, got can get something from the dead in here. I don't know what's there. Let's go back to the bar. We're gonna try and pick up the spit. I don't. Th I think I'm gonna need something. I, I get the feeling I need something to pick it up with. Rather than just grab it with my hand, because, you know, who wants to be grabbing oh, another person's spit in the hand? Hi. Um, pick up, spit dripping down wall. If you pick it up in your bare hands. touch it with my hands. Thank you, that's a good, that's a good option. Um, right. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page okay. 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Aunt Helen. Thread, is that, an, is that her head, name? Is that the voodoo lady's body, name? And something of the dead. Um, hi. Can Excuse I me. have a rag or something? Yeah, boy. Uh, Proud, grog, please. please. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old no, enough. Look just at a my grog. beard. Ha, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have okay. any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. 
right Fair on. enough. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rat. Kate? Of course, if you have some ID. Uh, who's this Kate person? Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Toughest That's steel, That's a good pirate name. Good nails. pirate name, that. She rents her ship out. Does some freelance pirating. Her only All right. loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Uh, I shall try not to. Nice place you have. Right. Well, see ya. See you later. So we need something to collect this spit. But we know where it is. We know where to get his clothes, some clothing of his. I'm imagining that's going to be in the laundry. Cemetery is going to obviously be something for the dead, but I don't know how we're going to work that out. I mean, I have a shovel. Walk to the path. So let's check out the cemetery now. Once we check that out, maybe be able to get something from the dead straight away. I don't think we're going to be able to find out who's Warning. his is. Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Oh, okay. I don't think we're going to work no out no easily. Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Span's cozy crypts. The Quagmires. No trespassing. And can we check any of these? The Grouts. No trespassing. I don't think it's going to be as easy. Can we have a look at the graves? Well, we may need to find out, tail him somewhere to find out where his stuff is. Who's his relative? Unless it's this one. Marco Largo Legrand. Oh. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. I would agree with that. Um. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. Oh, we're just gonna. I can't dig that, Daddy. Oh, hold on, I clicked on the tombstone, didn't I? This is creepy feeling. Yes, let's go and get you. Let's just dig up. Let's just. Dig up his relative, because that can't end badly at all. Murray! I think Murray's in the... Our first thing of Murray's in the next I'd one. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Quite possibly. Uh, nice. Did I dig it up all right? Oh, it's still, oh, it's still gooey. All right, so that's one down. One piece down. That was surprisingly easy. But okay. So let's head out. Uh, we still need a ticket claim for some clothes. We need something from his hair. From his head. Some of his hair. Check it up initially. So we've got three more things to get. The spit which we can't pick up yet. We've got the something from the dead. Captain Capsize? Is this where you live? The houseboat? I'm also wondering why this dock is so t windy. Oh, hello. Uh, we've got anything that we can borrow. Quote unquote steel. Hi, right, Captain. Captain Dread. Hello. Hello, man. My name's Hello. Captain Dre. What can I do for you? Um, I need to talk to Natty Dreads. Natty Dreads. Dreads. Thanks, man. Hey, they are cool. They are cool. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I call okay. it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides. That mean and nasty guy okay, so we'll come in here has an embargo last. on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. All right. Uh, tell me, tell me more about, tell me more about the necklace. You lost. 
it Where did you lose it? Ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. Monkey Island? I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck job. As you do. Don't you have a... Don't you have the eyeball of your best friend in your... On a necklace around your neck? I don't. Uh, gee, I think I met your friend. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Well, that, wait, is that the head? Is that a call? I've just realised that. Is that a call back to the head from the first game? You know, the navigator's head. That's funny. If that is, that's funny. Uh, right, gotta, gotta run. run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Thanks, so. Bye, man. Come again. Certainly. Um, right, so let's head back down this windy dock whenever he gets there. And I'm straight to the path. So I don't think there's anything we can do with him right now. We need to get rid of the embargo first. So where else have we got? Still got the beach to check out. Nothing in the river. Obviously being at the swamp, being at the cemetery, done that cemetery thing. Only place we haven't been is the beach. Let's go to the beach. Maybe we'll be able to find something to pick up the spit with. I thought maybe a grog cup. Oops, stick. Um, pick up the stick. Nice. It's a nice stick. That's a very nice stick. Do well patented. First person, first person, point and click adventure shuffle, where we just scan, we just scan the whole page, whole screen. Oh, I've been here. You know, I do. I can't believe I just said that. Of course, I've been here. <laughs> Steaming weenies, twenty feet. Hello, steaming weenies. Is this a? Mm, looks closed. Um, do I have a door? Open hmm. door? This door appears to be locked. Oh. Wrap Scallion Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. Oh, okay. Is this, a, is this what you class as a drive-by? Like a drive through drive through hot dog place. I'm going to not talk to them right now. We'll think and Bart. Never mind, probably gonna to talk to them. Hi, hello. Hello again. He's back. I am. I would tell you about the time I kicked Chuck's butt. Tell me about this Largo guy. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two bit thug. He's Damn right. Nothing but a low down weasel. So why haven't you kicked his ass yet? So yeah, so why don't you kick, kick, why kick him off the island? Well, we would. But he was but... very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Very oh, true, he did no. He did blow it into Not a thousand pieces. this story again. Excuse me. Um. Any idea where could... I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. I've been and there already. There, you'll meet a man named... Captain, Captain Dread. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not, Not really. really. Once you get <laughs> he really isn't. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. Okay. Uh, What's this about embargo? embargo? The Largo embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. So it's basically an, an embargo. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. He can try. Uh, do you know any pirate songs? Any piratey songs? Sure. That can help me. Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, oh all right. Are we going to get well, some law? Be a pirate on Scab. Then a Scab on a pirate. And True. 
Gabby Gab. I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, Sing along. Sing along, everyone. Friendly. The weather's not the best. The <laughs> lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the that's thing that's I an like interesting song. Interesting what lyrics. It hasn't got no mayor or police force, and no tail in which to ride. That's, that's a beautiful. fantastic song, my dude. That's a fantastic song. Uh, Never let's try about it. the time I kicked LeChuck's butt. Look, Guybrush, besides <laughs> the fact that we'd all rather die than hear that story again, there's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Oh? Uh -huh. Le Grand is back on Scab. He used to be LeChuck's right-hand man. I don't think don't I met him. Get Largo on your bad side. Um, any marshmallows, any marshmallows left? left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye patch. Oh, just okay. sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not <laughs> Girl Scouts. You know, I can safely say I've never had a marshmallow roasted over an open fire before. I don't know if I'm actually missing anything out. It feels like... It could be incredibly painful if you overdo it and end up burning your mouth. And how's How the pirate base? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Cabin fever. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't <laughs> feel right. Just felt like Robin. Uh, do you, do you guys should know go for another one? Songs? Okay, here's one about a pirate. His parrot. And a tragic day at sea. You go You're for it. You're not gonna sing Polly the Squawker lives in Davy Jones' locker, are you? You know that one always makes me cry. Sorry, Bart. Uh, well, okay, well, see you later, guys. Dogs later. That reminds me. Do we have any weenies left? Weenies? Uh, there's a weenie hut over here. Uh, right, so we've got a stick. What we can we use for the stick? We've got a bone. Hopefully we don't run into a dog that runs off with the bone. That would be bad news bears. Right, so where else have we been? Beaten the swamp. Nothing in the swamp. Let's go give back. Let's go polish this pirate's leg. That sounds bad. Let's go polish this pirate's wooden leg see what that actually has what if that does anything for me maybe it'll get ah maybe it'll get us a cloth nice. and maybe stick with the box oh okay 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 use wood polish on peg leg thanks here's wiggy, a piece wiggy. of eight for your trouble You would polish on peg leg. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. I wonder. <laughs> hey, what's in this Just bucket? A bucket. Can I take it? Hey, leave that alone. Uh, is this your bucket? Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. No. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. All right. Bucket for the spit, maybe? Use stick. Can we prop open this that thing with it? That doesn't seem to work. Open box. Use stick with box. I think I may need some cheese. Do I need some cheese to lure lure that rat in there? Wait. Was he going in there already on his own? I don't know why I need a rat. Get yeah, we need to lure him in with cheese. I've no doubt about that. Um right. Got two pieces of eight. Don't have any ID. Um, 
talk. Let's talk to him. Can we talk to him? Excuse me. I'd like a room, please. Sorry. We only have one and it's full. Okay. So we can't go into his room. We need to find... I'm sure we've got to unhook his alligator or something. Use bucket with it. I don't think that'll work. I don't think it'll work either. You never know. Um, use shovel on rope. Come and just shovel it. I can't dig that, Daddy. Oh, thank you. I like it when you call us Daddy. That was for rec for legal reasons. That was a joke. <laughs> Hold it right there! I told you, no going up there. So I need to distract him. Obviously you got to do something with that. Okay, I think we need to get in there to get something from maybe the claim for the laundry guy and maybe something from the head as well. I could talk to Mr. Dude, hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Uh, what exactly, what do, exactly you? do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery in here? <laughs> uh, Very true. No, I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh, the map making oh. sort. Um, what kind what of kind maps of do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world, and there's not a part of it I haven't put down. Can on we paper. use? Can we get Maps a map? Maps are of... very, very important. I actually prefer to stop in our directions. Not, not to me, me. I don't travel. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. True. Is longitude the sideways one, or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so Long cute. as around. Lay people try to around and latitude is. I could try to explain that it, way. But it would probably just go over your head. Probably. Uh, you know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too. Could you. Is that all you do? Make maps? Could you make well, me a map to some lure someone away? Work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, oh. artsy fartsy stuff. Maps I know where we're very, taking. Very important. We're going to collect the four pieces of the map. We're going to bring them to him to put them together. I'm going to call it now. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. Yes. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. Right, so can we s borrow something here? Can we borrow a piece of paper? It's a pile of blank paper. Um, pick up. Where's that? Could I use that paper for the spit? Nice map. Aha. Uh -huh. It's not going to tell nice us what this map. map. Not for sale though. Not going to tell me. Oh, does that mean this one's for sale? I can't reach it. Oh. Can I pick up that monocle? Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see I a don't thing know. without my monocle. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Where is that thing? I feel guilty. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um sister once had. Of course, Gavrish. Right here. Uh, I don't know where it's gone. I hope I didn't lose it. I feel really guilty now. I don't. I took it. I don't even know what it's why I need it. Okay, let's try this paper on the spit. Uh, yeah. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's not nice. Um, can, I, can we use this piano? I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. 
Um, hi. Can I talk Excuse to you again? Me. Yeah, boy. Hi. Uh, want to see my scar? Want to see it? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost, ghost pirate, pirate Chuck, and Chuck. His gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Not exactly. Not exactly. Didn't quite Frankly, go down like that. I don't that. care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Fair point, actually. Fair point. Grog, Can I have a grog? Please? I'll need to see some ID for that. I must have, I left, must my have left my ID in my other in pants. In my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Where am I going to get ID from? Uh, can I use I the monocle? I don't think it's my prescription. I mean, you could use it for something. Right, so we've got two of these items. I need to get some ID for him somehow. Where I'm going to get it, I don't know. Can I check in the monocle? I'll never be able to afford a new one. Wait, am I going to do something stupid? Like, can I check in this monocle for cleaning? Can I check this monocle in for cleaning and get a claim ticket? I don't think it's my prescription. Who are, uh, who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. Okay, I'm Marty. I'm about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. Okay. Uh, I've got I a laundry, laundry type, question. type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Do you do, do alteration? Do I... Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. All right. Um, I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you, you do, do alterations? alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You no. got some nerve. I didn't mean I'm that. Sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, I right, pick, like up, some pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Um, no, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I yes, can I do. hear you. But I can't, can't hear me just fine. Closed without a claim ticket. Okay. Um, Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you. But, but I, I don't. don't. Right. So check out signs. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. That's an interesting sign. Uh this one say not responsible for lost buttons or hooks no we don't clean leather can't clean leather oh leather's not a great identify you know it's not a great thing to clean is leather um right so they do you have anything to say hey guys nope never mind So let's go, I'm assuming, all right, so have we missed something in the swamp? That's the only place we haven't like fully searched. I think we need to some, we need some cheese to lure the rat into that box. Why? I don't really know. I don't know what we need a rat for. We're done in the cemetery, I think. I can only assume that she has International something in there that I can motor. borrow. Okay, let's roll that way. Don't think there's anything in. I don't think there's anything outside of here. That we can pick up. So she's got to have something in there that we can use. Because we're missing some items. We need to do something with the alligator. In order to possibly get his attention away from something so I can sneak in. 
Let's have a look. Tongue, the five-day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. Ooh, nice. Display model. Uh, ooh, string. Can I pick up the string? Well, just take a little. Okay, thank you. I don't know what I need string for. Maybe, oh, maybe the rat thing. All right. Maybe we've got to tie that to the stick. Well, it appears to be bolted so to the table. Pull it when it's like further away. Um, they're on labels. Label on label bottles. So we are missing stuff in here. Bottles, books. It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Can I take this jar? Golden no tongue. thanks. I don't need it. I don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> anymore, I like that. Uh, right, so spider what's lungs. Jar? Spider lungs. Ooh, lovely. Wart remover. Wart remover. Any other jars? Tender touch pirate powder prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. Ooh, can I take? Can I take that? That could come in no, handy. No thanks. I don't need it. I don't have an eye patch or any missing limbs. Oh, hey, you Mojo, don't. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Ooh, nice. Ash to life. The uncremating cream. Uncremating cream. Hey, that's just a display model. Oh, okay. Hi. I've got the real stuff back here. That's one of my most powerful potions. Bring okay. the dead back to life. Is that a thing I'll to do? Take it. There are some complications. Com okay, well, we're taking some. Works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Boy, okay. Voodoo's complicated. It is quite complicated. Uh, about the jar I was uh, looking about at. About that jar I was looking at. I can't make you any of that potion without some. I don't know why I need that potion. Remains. Um, about that food about that doll? doll. Have you brought me the ingredients? I have two of them. I have some of his I spit. I have some of his spit. Excellent. You All right. Keep the paper. Have oh, you brought thank you. me any other ingredients? Uh, born of his grandfather. Of his grandfather. Perfect. Have you brought me any other ingredients? No. I'll bring you bring more later. Good. Now go. I need some cheese. I need some something. Spit encrusted paper. So I've got a string. There's nothing else in here. Uh. Oh, what's that jar? Cat dewormer. What remover? Can I open up that? Any more jars? Ooh, bottles? Look They're at bottles. Unlabeled. Do you know what any of these are, my lady? They're unlabeled. Um, walk to books. What's the books? Are they? Like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Tender touch, golden spider lungs, cat D worm, ash to life. Skink toes. Skink toes. What skink toes? Okay, so we can get some voodoo afterlife powder. I don't quite know how that helps us. Can I roll there? No, I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in. I kicked off the screen. All right, two seconds. Sorry. I went too far off the edge of the screen. Right, so where are we going to get ashes from? Graveyard? Well, I'm wondering, have I actually missed a location? So it feels like I'm missing something here that's fairly obvious. Right, so are we missing something here? has to be in town that I'm missing. It's 
we've got that in there. Oh. Window. All right. Can we go in the window? Oh, we can. Okay. Ouch. Hi. Uh, can I talk to him? I'm a if I talk to him, I'm going to get thrown out. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Okay. You do that vicious soir. It's a cold potato and leek soup. Why is it on the oven then? <laughs> Why is it on the oven? Uh, can I take that knife? Because that will help me out to no end. Uh, got anything else in here that we can't goods? Yeah, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. Fruit cocktail's not bad. Um, fresh fruit cocktail's probably nicer. The barkeep might see me. True, actually, we, we did sneak in here. You probably get annoyed that way. Or we're talking. Can you use the stove? The fire's out. Can I turn the fire on? Use the no stove. Problem. All right. We need to know we can get in the kitchen. Hey, hey. Right. So now we'll have that knife. We can... If we cut the rope, that alligator's going to run off. And then maybe that can be our distraction. Yes. Use knife with rope. Cut that rope. And the alligator will go running off. Maybe he'll go chasing after the alligator. Whoop. Hey, how'd old pig biter get loose? I don't know. I'd better go catch him before yes, he you... catches somebody else. You go get him. You go get him. It's in the bowl. Cheese squigglies. One of my favorites. Ooh. Cheese squ Oh, can we have the... I like a good cheese puff. Uh, pick up. Can we take the bowl? And take some more. I don't need any more. Don't need any more? Alright. That means we can sneak into the room now. Is he in here though? A toupee. A dressing screen. What's in the they leftovers? They look pretty old. They look pretty old. Can I take them? Who let you into my room? I. I uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't. So get the f out of here. Okay, calm down. Scram, kid. Oh, okay. Uh, did I screw up? If I leave. So if I even come back, is he gone? Because I didn't get a good chance to look around. Kid. Dang it. Alright. So how do I... Use bell? I don't want to steal Pick his up. bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. Oh, he was a little bit mean. But, you know, we needed him out of the way. So did I screw up there entirely? Get out of my room! Okay. I'm hoping I haven't screwed up royally there. Let's go try... something else. Can we do something with the rat? You string with... stick. Use cheese squigglies with the box. So if I go this way, there we go. I don't know what we're doing with it. Can I 
pick up box. It won't fit in my pocket. Um, open box. Pick up trapped cowering rat. Hello, rat eye. Hi, uh, I'm going to take you somewhere. Do I take you... Do I scare you off with the rat? Does Do I scare him off with the rat? I think it's the only, th only logical thing. Use captured rat with door. Maybe he's scared of rats. It'll scare him out of the room. That doesn't seem to work. Unfortunate. Eh. Uh, use door. Opened up. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh. Toupee. Something from his head. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Um. Pick up toupee. Nice. Wait, do I hide here until he comes back? Do I need to hide? I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Oh, he has a horrible... Th that's horrible. Uh, right, so I need... It's empty. It's already open. Nice. Um. Right. So what? I'm, what exactly am I doing right now? Closed door. It doesn't seem to stay closed. You stick. That doesn't seem to work. Door. Use shovel on door. Get out! Oh, hi. I was just leaving. Yes, I was going. Right, so that leaves... I'm going to go to the swamp. We're going to see if the toupee is what we actually need. We still need to get his clothes. We just need a, a claim check. But I don't know where that would be. Because I'm assuming he doesn't have any hair. If he's wearing a wig. Have you brought toupee. me any more ingredients? I have his toupee. I have his toupee. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Bit of dandruff? All right. Do you have the final ingredient? No, I don't. I'll bring, bring it later. In. Good. Now All right. go. Okay. So, let's try, if we go back to town, hide behind the screen. Maybe he'll put a coat or get or get changed of some variety and there'll be a claim thing in his pocket and then we can go and get the clothes. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Let's do it. Let's try it. Right. I wonder if the guy's back yet. Oh, he's not back yet. I mean, trying to catch an alligator is probably not a good idea. Probably going to take a while. So if I hide behind the screen and just wait. Three weeks later. Right, so that didn't work. The only thing that can we... Thing this is a cold soup. Okay, I don't know why I put the rat in the soup. Right? <laughs> maybe to get some grog, or maybe. Hi. Talk to him. Can I order Excuse some soup? Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Oh, okay. Right. So, how's the stew tonight? Yeah. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How gauche? 
We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In I fact, mean, suppose chilled soup's all right if you working all day on a very through... special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. Okay, can, does that mean I can Vichy Bernard? Steal Excellent, something? Sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my God! Right at it. What kind of demented recipe book are you using? I don't quite know. <laughs> You're fired. But sir, out! Get out of my sight! How does this help me? This How does this? Disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life. Look at all the hair. And what's this stuff? How am I ever going to get rid of this junk? I don't quite know how this helps me. Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Not after hey, hearing that. Can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career uh, in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Um... I don't know. How much does it know. pay? How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week that's paid not, in advance. That's not a bad, bad thing. Let's... Sure. Yeah. A shot. Let's do it. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. Okay. I have no idea what to cook. Uh, vicious war avec rat hairs. <laughs> I don't know how that helps me right now. Can we leave? Let's go out the window. Let's just leave. Deal some money from him. Be a pirate. Be a pirate about it. Uh, unless so the only thing we need is clothes I'm wondering does I'm assuming sorry I'm assuming that Legrand actually has clothes at the dude it Hi, I wonder if he's actually got clothes at the laundry. That's just an assumption that I made. What if we have to make ticket? You know, like make a ticket. Think about it. We we'll shut the door in his cabin, didn't we? And it didn't shut properly. And I was trying to lock the door for some reason. Should we pull the trick, the old trick of the thing on top of the door to fall on someone before you, when they open the door? We're gonna go that, let's go that childish. Let's go. <laughs> so we need, we've got a bucket. Can we get muddy water? Because that would probably... That would cause enough damage to actually get your clothes washed. The book of a swamp. I mean, I could wow, use... A whole bucket vicious... of mud. And it's mine. All mine. Yes, I've got a jar of dirt. If you get that reference, more power to you. Uh... Right, so let's go back. So we can't get, we've got mud. Let's cover, the, let's cover the ground in mud. And that'll generate us a lovely, he'll put his clothes into the thing. We get a claim check, we can pick up his clothes. I still don't know what we're doing with the monocle yet. I'm assuming that we are, it's going to be required after this, because after we get the embargo lifted, we're going to obviously have to charter a ship. And I think that's going to be the next thing to do. So we'll maybe picking up items. Uh, right, so close door. Use bucket of mud with door. Yes. And it's... I think I hear Largo coming. Go, hide. 
Hey, what the <laughs> hell? What's going on? Can't believe that worked. Whoever did this is gonna pay. Uh. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. I like it. I like it. Childish. I love it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Yeah, maybe steamed. Uh, right, so... Let's get back to laundry, maybe? See what he does with that. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out. Look, <laughs> Mad Marty. I want it free, and I want it tonight. Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. <laughs> I said I need it back tonight. What? That would be annoying. Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up, or else. All right. Calm down. Um, hi. I like to pick, like up, to some pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? Uh, I was all being keelhauled. Keel I get a feeling I'm going to have to go back and. Mauled? What does that yes? have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. All right. No I got a question. laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, Actually nothing. nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I good. didn't think you would. Good, good. Uh, right, Oops. so... I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. So can we go and talk to him now, Logo, and say he needs his claim check? Does that work? Will that work? Is it going to be that? Can I just go and ask him for it? Or do I have to steal it? Let's go see. Let's go see him. Let's go check. Right. So the claim check's got to be in here somewhere. Draw. It's empty. It's on the other side. It's caught on the. Oh. There we go. There we go. Pick up claim ticket. Thank you very much. I don't know who would have immediately thought to check behind the door. It probably would have taken a lot. Of it took me quite a while to work that one out. Right, so that means we can go and get his clothes. And that's the last piece of the puzzle. Yes? Mad Marty. Uh, I'd like to pick, up, like some to clothes. pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? I do indeed. Got it right here. Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. Thank you. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, what else have we got? It? Oh, we've got a parrot as well. Wash ah, a parrot. Here it comes. A bra? Nice April fresh scent. Is that correct? I guess I'll be going now. Okay, bye. Alright, so I'm going to assume that's the right one. I don't quite know why he was wearing a bra and why he would get his bra washed. We're not even going to ask questions. I'm hoping this is the right item. I mean, it has to be, because I gave him the right ticket. Hello? Have you brought me the final ingredient? I hope so. I have this pearly I white bra. pearly white bra. 
Yes, that will work. At last. Okay. Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let's do it. Let me get my juju bag. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's and do the... now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. Good. A single piece of Largo's thread. From the bra. A drop of fluid from his body. You spit. A single chip. Off the bone of the dead. On a chip. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. So those are the KFC spices. This ought to be good. I hope so. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Who do we assassinate? Oh, who do we assassinate? Wrong one. Lago, Lago, yeah. Proper cheer. Proper cheerleading stuff, this, like. Shake, shake. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, nice. little lady. One more thing. Don't forget Some the pins. Of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work. Okay. But it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Maybe his bedroom. Do we have? Do we have pins? Oh, we do have pins. Okay, cool. Let's head back to his room and hopefully find out that he's there and we're gonna can use this voodoo doll now we're gonna be able to do it in time because obviously when we're in his room he's gonna try and throw us out what sure please I still don't know why I've got the job as the cook other than to steal the money hey what are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. Okay. All right, so we must have to be a lot quicker. So he's in there already and we've got to, can't, don't have to wait for him. All right, so if we go in and we quickly use the pins with the doll. I can't believe you're in here again. Why are you following oh, me there around? there we go. Got it. Ow! Take that, you stumpy little stumpy dim witted toad. toad. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I'm me. Guy Rush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. Try it. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no good, vicious, two. two bit thug. Yes. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, okay. Well, I command you to, command leave, you to leave the silence. <laughs> Just you try and make. Yes, go, go, get out of here, get out of here. That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You Excuse killed me? LeChuck? As a yes. matter of fact, I did. Bad I idea. An interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Kind of. Does she ish. have one of these? Is that? Yes. LeChuck's beard. Still Wait. alive and wriggling. Let Why? No, don't give it to him. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck Alive and in your pants. Years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fierce okay. pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. Yeah, that's that's probably not a good thing. Smoothly done. Smoothly. It's true, Guybrush. If they oh, have so you did. Animated tissue. They can reanimate his whole body. Uh, let's not talk about that. A zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. How you come you took claim for it? Form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be rotten, zombified, composed. Yes, and I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. Probably he's not. Looking for me. Yes. It's fallen off the man. He's gonna try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Doubt definitely. Um, Look what can I do? You. You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting living. For Big Whoop. Oh. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret. Uh, to another world. Find another that world? world? And you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little okay. about Big Whoop. Take this book. 
Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza, or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. Oh, I thank you. I saw your need. Gee, of course thanks. you did. Of course you I did. I your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, Probably. thanks. Yeah, th thank you very much for that. Thank you. Uh, right, guys. On that note, I think we should leave that for this week. Leave it here for this week. Done some canny progress. Managed to make a voodoo doll and raise the embargo or Lagos embargo. Chapter's not finished yet. I think we need to still get a ship to leave the island and to go and explore and for parts of the map to Big Whoop. Gonna do that next time. Uh, done a couple of things that I've got no idea what we're gonna use them for yet. I'm assuming they're gonna come become apparent when I think like I picked up the Wally's monocle. Still feel bad about that. Cause I don't know what I'm using it for. <laughs> And we also ended up with contaminating some soup, getting a chef fired, and now we have the chef's job. Other than the paycheck, the gill, the gill, the gold up front, I've no idea why that's necessary. I can only assume that we have to use the money, that paycheck, in order to rent a boat. That's what I can assume. I'm not entirely sure. So. <laughs> we're going to leave that here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Bit of a blast from the past again for us. More so for this one because I haven't played it as much. So it's going to be interesting to re remember bits of the story as I'm going along. Itchy head, sorry. It's going to be interesting. Either way, um, I enjoy the Monkey Island games. I hope you do too. If you have liked it, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends as much as you can. That would help me out a great deal. If you're new here, feel free to come hang out. Come check out some other stuff that I have going on. We have lots of stuff on the channel. We would love to have you here. I have quite a few of the old point and click adventures now getting a good collection of those as among other stuff if you're not new here welcome back thank you again for all the support it is much appreciated i love you all from the bottom of my heart and you all know what's coming please like share comment subscribe and all that jazz and as always see us on the flip side bye bye